Hey ho friends, it's Michelle with the Weekly Meltdown and we've got quite a bit of Rose Girls to talk about. I've been a melting machine over the last two weeks. Although I will say, if I couldn't smell it, it came out. I was moving on. Um, and a few other brands, K's, a little bit of Sassy Girl, One Bath and Body Works candle. Okay. Let's start actually with the smaller ones this time and leave Rose Girls for last. I, you know I did. I got my K's um, haul in and I went ahead and warmed a mega pint uh, clamshell. Love this scent. Blackberry Bordeaux, Beach Nights, and Cherry Slushy. Mm -mm -mm. If you like sweet and fruity scents, kind of that dark Bordeaux kind of, mm, this is the scent to get. Uh, right? Yeah. Just making sure that <laughs> that haul did go up. Yes, it did. Okay, and also from Cave Scented Melts, I had done a custom with freshly squeezed orange juice, Bonfire Bliss, and Marshmallow. I did not say, you know, any percentages. I just kind of left it up to them and told them I wanted the orange juice to be the main scent you know i wanted it to stand out more than the others um and i will i was trying to kind of come up with something similar to a super tart scent i don't remember the name was it eden no mm -mm. anyway it's an orange campfire scent type scent and this ended up being a little less campfire than I wanted, so I put the rest of what I had in a candle crock along with Destination Wax Toasted Marshmallow, which is marshmallow over a blazing campfire, smoky char on the marshmallow, and then also some Bonfire from Destination Wax, Autumn Walk Sweetened with Bonfire Bliss, and... It was just kind of a lightly orange sweet scent, mixing all of that. But I, I didn't want to warm these on their own, the toasted marshmallow and the bonfire, because it was just a little too much char for me and I wanted more char in the orange from K's. So that's why I was thinking that to do that. Uh, but yeah. I mean, it's not something I would repeat, but I'm glad I tried it to kind of get an idea of having more of that toasted note with the orange. So yeah, um, I know that doesn't help you on the individual notes real, or the individual scents for toasted marshmallow and bonfire from Destination Wax, but <clears throat> toasted marshmallow did, on cold at least, have more char than I expected. And I mean char, like not a sweet char, a char, no. Um, also, let's see, also from Destination Wax, <laughs> I put what I had left in another toasted marshmallow with Plummy to try to kind of sweeten it up and char, give it some charred note. It was nice, uh, not something I'd probably repeat also. And Plummy is sweet and rich with some zing. It says plum, cranberry, pumpkin, fig, black currant, pepper, vanilla, and citrus. It was nice. I, I didn't hate it, but I wouldn't do it again. Um, one sassy girl little sample in clothesline. And this is exactly what you would think it is. It was a laundry scent. Very nice. It performed very well. It reminds me a lot of um, Clean Cotton. Clean Cotton from Yankee. I enjoyed it in the laundry room. Harvest Cider Birch from Teddy Bees. I did this in the smallest bedroom we have. We use it as an, more of an office. And it was nice. Um, really deep berry like cranberry blackberry kind of scent with birch uh nice if you like birch woodsy scents it was very nice 
um, a little bit just like cologne note. I probably won't buy that, but I'm glad I tried it, and I may have bought it <laughs> um, in a souffle to try it had I not received that. So it's always nice to get those samples, right? And then a Bath and Body Works candle in autumn. Love this scent. It's uh, an annual purchase, basically. Bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. So yeah, it's mainly like an apple eucalyptus type scent. I use candle crocs, so those wicks are no longer to be used once it goes in the croc. And I forget to mention, I put them in the candle crock and I leave my candle crocs on 24 hours a day unless I'm changing out the candle in it. Then I may turn it off, let it harden so I can pull it out because all melted, it's a little difficult to get it out. So I do turn it off then to replace the scent. But for the most part, the rest of the time, my candle crocs are on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Unless I'm just taking a break to enjoy another scent that's going on, that type of thing. And if you don't know what candle crock is, <laughs> Or candle lamps, that's what I use instead of burning candles. <clears throat> I do have some videos on those with some options and kind of features and things like that that might help you decide if you want to try them. And if so, which ones, what features to look for. All right, on to Rose Girls. 100% That Witch. This was, I want to say, was this a sampler? It was like a Halloween sampler, I think. I don't even remember. It was a pretty good chunk of wax. Very nice. Pumpkin, apple, butter, and custard. Very edible, for sure. And sweet, um, but not too offensive bakery. I'm not a bakery lover, and I enjoyed this. <laughs> Uh, next, Jumping on Christmas Wish Clouds. This is Christmas Wish Cotton Candy Frosting Cup of Cake, Monster Cake, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Vanilla Crunch Donuts. This was, well, you can see the imprint there. <laughs> this was a good size cloud and barely could smell this. Um, I gave it a 3F on the back. F meaning... It was very light and out of, you know, a grade scale, A, B, C, D, F. It got an F. And three, I neither liked or disliked this scent. But, yeah, um, I'm finding that most of, ca most of Rose Girls, sorry, most of Rose Girls scents are too light for me. I've tried less. I've tried more. I've tried hotter warmers. Um, I've tried even the candle crocs, like this was in a candle croc, um, all by itself, I mean, in an empty candle jar, but nothing else, just this cloud and very little scent. Sugar cookie latte, this did have more scent. Uh, it was frosted sugar cookie and piping hot lattes, so I really did like this one. I gave this one a 4A, so it did great on scent, and I liked the combination. I got both the, like, coffee latte and, and a sugar cookie note. I, I did enjoy it. It still does not beat my all-time favorite, I guess, coffee scent, you would call it, Moon Spice Cookie from Destination Wax. Yeah, it was nice though. I, I obviously, I had to open it to smell it because I liked it. <laughs> Next is Sweet Pumpkin Pie, Cider Lane, and Marshmallow Smoothie. So this was nice and sweet. I mean, kind of what you expect from it. Actually, a little sweeter than, than I expected, honestly. But I like that Cider Lane note in there. Not a whole lot of pumpkin pie, not a whole lot of spice. This one, I enjoyed this one. And let me play guitar at you. 
This is marshmallow fireside, roasted pine cones, pine, and salty sea air. And I had this going in the kitchen. I gave it a four and a half B. So out of five stars on the scent itself, I really liked it. And B, it was good. Better than average. Mm, yeah. And I had kind of worried about this one with the pine cones being a wood note because I don't always love pine cone notes and things. But I liked it mixed with that pine and the salty sea air. Marshmallow fireside, of course. Was, I liked that one. Outer Banks, Sea Salt, Cocoa Bean, and Marshmallow Fireside. This is one that actually surprised me. Um, <laughs> I liked the scent, but it was super light. Like, I could smell it for about an hour, and that's it. I liked that combination of the cocoa bean with the, with the uh, marshmallow fireside and sea salt, though. Very interesting. Johnny Appleseed. Um, so, on this, my note says unscented. Sorry. I tried this in multiple places. I got nothing. All... Nothing. Maybe it's my nose. Maybe it's just the scent notes in here. Oak moss, amber, campfire marshmallow, apple cider donuts. You would think with that, I could smell it. I just, I mean, I got very, very, very little. Like an oak moss, maybe campfire type note. That's it. And definitely not worth repurchasing for me because I can't smell it. <laughs> Son of a Nutcracker. This is Christmas Wish Sweet Lavender and Vanilla Butter Cookie. And this one was nice um, on the lighter side for me. Could be the butter cookie in my nose. But again, I'm kind of finding with the majority of scents, they're lighter. Yeah, I wanted to like this. I do get the peppermint. I will say, I do get the peppermint in here. Um... So for that, I won't repurchase just because I don't like a very strong peppermint note. I, I'm very picky in my peppermint. I'll say that. Snow Angels is Mulberry Pomegranate Fresh Picked Strawberries. This was really sweet um, and juicy and light after an hour or so. Not even strong to begin with, but even lighter, you know, after about an hour. I liked what I got. Kind of equal parts of all of those. They complemented each other well. Soda Lightful. This was a sample, I believe. Yeah, it wasn't in a sampler that I bought. This is cola, baked zucchini bread, and vanilla graham crackers. And believe it or not, <laughs> I kind of liked this one. It was strange but nice you it smelled like a soda i mean i don't know that i necessarily got zucchini bread or the graham crackers but i smelled soda and i kind of liked it i don't drink soda anymore so maybe that's why i liked it <laughs> it was interesting and it had decent scent as well uh, chocolate chip zucchini cake <clears throat> Yeah, nothing special here. Uh, chocolate chip. I, yeah, this chocolate note was almost uh, kind of like garbage can rotten food smelling to me when it was warm. So that's not a repurchase. Beach Bonfire, Campfire Marshmallow, Vanilla Lace, and Marshmallow Fireside. Love this. Love it. I would repurchase it. It's a great blend. You get all of it. It's a good, like, bedroom scent. Mmm, I just love that vanilla lace mixed with the Campfire Marshmallow and Marshmallow Fireside. I mean, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, and uh, last to wrap it up, Pumpkin Espresso Sugar Donuts. And I think this was a sample. 
bowl or maybe it was in that sampler and this was nice <laughs> I I almost get almost a skunk smell from it though I don't know if it's just the combination but warm very spicy very very spicy so I would not purchase this one unless you like a lot of spice okay that wraps it up I think that's probably the quickest I've ever gone through that many scents maybe didn't go into as much detail as I normally do I apologize um, when you can't smell them very well it's kind of hard to you know give or have stronger thoughts and feelings about it but yeah so thanks for stopping by I will have probably a haul coming up this weekend and may may skip a week or so around Christmas of uploading videos so if I don't see you before then I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you before that too and everyone stay safe and hug your loved ones and I will see you next video